Good morning or afternoon or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. I hope it's good for you. My name is In Harm's Way, and this is Magic Gathering Arena. We're on day 249. <laughs> Yes, we're on day 249. Uh, let's go to the store. We have to cast 20 creature spells today. Ooh, I hope we'll be able to do it. Uh, wow, nothing in the daily deals available to us today. Let's open our 10 packs. It means we're down to 15. Uh, inventive iteration. Return up to one target creature or planeswalker to its owner's hands. Turn an artifact card from your grain graveyard to your hand if you can't draw a card exile it and return it transform that would be good in the flying deck uh spirit sisters call at the beginning of your end step choose the target permanent card in your graveyard you may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type with the chosen card if you do return the chosen card from your graveyard to the battlefield and it gains if this permanent would leave the battlefield Exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. And then Light Paws Emperor's Voice, the Fox Advisor. Whenever an aura enters the battlefield under your control, if you cast it, you may search your library for an aura card with mana value less than or equal to that aura. And with a different name than each aura you control, put that card on the battlefield attached to Light Paws Emperor's Voice, then shuffle. It's kind of cool kind of cool and then we've got a mech titan core to an artifact vehicle five exile it and four other artifact creatures and or vehicles you control and create a 10 to 10 construct artifact creature token with flying vigilance trample lifelink and haste that's all colors holy crap when that token leaves the battlefield, return all cards exiled with Mech, Mech Titan Core, except Mech Titan Core to the battlefield, tapped under their owner's control. So the Mech Titan probably is... There's probably a buttload of these artifact vehicles that'll make up that Mech Titan. But wow... Lizard Blades. Reconfigure. Attach a target creature you control or unattached from a creature. Reconfigure only as a sorcery while attached. This isn't a creature. But it gives double strike? Yeah. Nice. That could go in the Goblin or the either of those two decks. The Lizard Blades? Uh, what is it? Goblins. Goblins Everywhere deck. Let's edit it. And the Ouchies deck. It can also go in the Ouchies deck. We have two of them. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to want to take out. <coughs> Probably some Den of the Bugbears. There's some cool stuff in in this deck. Let's look up Goblin. Because there may not be any new Goblins. Oh wow, there is a new Goblin. When Twin Shot Sniper enters a battlefield, it does 2 damage to any target. Discard it, it deals 2 damage to any target. That's a four. I tried to keep my goblins down to, you know, I wanted this to be one of those decks that was quick. So we're going to stick it with what we've got there. And then the Ouchies deck. Let's see. The Ashley's deck just has all kinds of different stuff in it. What was it? There were lizard. Uh, 
Blizzard Blades. And then there were some Sagas. We're going to take some cards out of this. Like six cards. There, let's see how that works, right? I mean, we might need to change some stuff again, but we'll see how that works. All right, so we have to cast 20 creatures. What better deck to start with than the killer deck, right? Killer deck is now four and two since we started checking. So let's hope that it continues on the path that it was yesterday. Joker, Joker Ticho, Joker Ticho. Uh, okay, we can deal with this. Opponent goes first, we kill it on turn two. Maybe turn three. If it's an angel. You know, one of those things. Feed our koi. That works even better for us. They put out one that has to come out tapped. Druid class. Wow, okay, gain two. They must have some big cards if they're... Oh, good. Something to kill. Thank you. Thank you very much. If they do it, it's going to be a tapped land and we're going to kill it. They didn't do it. Do that for a little bit of scry action. Hey, you, throw away some cards. They can still use that. They're not making this easy for me to kill all their stuff.
<laughs> they don't have a lot of three or less cards. So this could suck for us. Sorry about that cough in your guys' ear. My name, uh, I'm not sorry. You guys know my name. If you guys can hear the music and you're enjoying it, provided by MusicMan1017 on Twitch, go ahead and go to his channel, give him a follow, let him know In Harm's Way sent you. See, they're, they're all about huge creatures, not about quantity or quality. Well, no, that is quality creatures, so. That's a haste creature, so it can attack us. But we can still kill it. That sucks for us. Oh, no, it doesn't. I mean, they could play it again. <laughs> and we're dead this turn. So, yep. That's a loss. Now four and three. Still a winning deck so far, but yeah. Let's go to Swarming. See how Swarming does. Wow, did I just have a... a little bit of a change in the voice there let's go to swarming i put one creature out total yeah that's swarming uh killer deck's not going to do it for creatures goblins blue fly blue flyers we have a lot of decks that would do it for creatures we put one creature out and it got immediately killed vanelli panda claws Wow, we're going to need to draw some mana. Or maybe not. We still need to draw mana. I, I'm kidding about maybe not. Looks like a black-white deck. I have a tickle in my throat, so I apologize. That brings us to four. <laughs> Sorry about that. Do you use the typhoid rat? Yeah. Okay. Which I totally believe helps us. Should probably put this out. I'm hoping to draw a land so we can put this out and then we can work through these guys.
It's either day or night, it becomes day as it enters the battlefield. Add one man of any color. If it's night, it becomes day. Other Oh, three. Otherwise, it becomes night. All right, so you can... That allows them to figure out or to to choose when day becomes night and so on and so forth. Uh, let's do that one. Put her out for now. Welcoming Vampire. Welcoming Vampire could come in over the top, but it doesn't have Vigilance, so if it does then I can move my Valentine out to get some points. Well, that sucks for us. Not quite as bad as I thought it would, but it still kind of sucks. So come in over the top. Right. And you go in. Now he can kill it with both of them, but he has to use both of them. They can still come in over the top. I'm hoping I draw a land, because that would be cool. Both iterations of her. I, I need, I don't need, I would like a land. Glad that's not a... Whew. There we go. Um, choose one. Which one are they going to choose? Transform. Okay. I got some death touch stuff out there. Which means we'll likely be losing some creatures. Ha! 
top four cards. You may play those cards. For celebrant. They can't get plus one plus ones. We get an additional plus for anyone that we put out there. Still looking for some land. Chandra just to kill. One damage up to one target player or planeswalker. Exile top card. If it's red, you may cast it this turn. Exile top five cards. And they can't put one ones, which is freaking awesome for us. finally get us to a point where we can see what's going on. So they're going to get some plus ups. We're not going to kill Chandra. But Chandra doesn't have enough. Okay, so they don't get any permanence as long as that, uh, as long as this is it. Oh great, it's night, but they didn't get anything for it. Another course celebrant. Oh, they get to draw a card when that comes in, okay. They have nine, and we have 21 of these. And we're about to get a buttload more. If they draw a card, they have to discard a card, so that works for us. I don't know how many that is. Yeah, 72 of them. One. Two, they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and then these. Well, I'll go after Chandra. And make one of those a two pointer. So Chandra's going to die. And 
their saga doesn't go any further. As long as we have this guy in the game. <laughs> want to get rid of that ability to do one damage to us. Okay. Everybody pumps up. Here's my thoughts. My thoughts are to let the Nighthawk Scavenger and the Henrika come through. Should they choose to use them. Kill anything that doesn't have Death Touch. That's not the one I would have used it on. But that's good. Thank you. She can't pump up. So long as the Vorin Clex is out there. Eight of them. Okay. Nine of them. See, 83 times 3? I don't know how many it's going to be, but it's going to be a lot. Waiting on the server, or waiting on our opponent, not sure which. Come on. You can do this. I already hit okay. How is this on me? I've got nothing I can do. It's like 240 something. Sorry, 261. And then send all our 3-3 three, three guys forward. Plus that 5-5. Five, five. Not these guys. Take that back, that back. That back, that back, you three back, and you back. That works. 86 attackers. I don't know if they thought they were going to win by continuing to put more stuff out, but it didn't work. 
And that alarm means that our day is up. We've spent most of the day on this one hand. So when this hand is done, we're done for the day. I'm thinking they're going to slow play the rest of this because it seems to me that's the kind of player we're looking at. Good game. All right. At least they didn't wait for all of their uh, timeouts to be used. That was good for us. All right. My name's in harm's way. I hope everybody has a great day. Join us in uh, about 10 minutes for some Sky Factory 1. We'll talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.